The Braves made the long trek to Mishawaka to play the Knights of Marion for a spot in the 3A state title game. The strength of this team is its heart. The strength of this team, the core, is the seniors. The strength of this team is the character that all of you, you possess. The only way we lose tonight is if you guys forget that. If you start to play selfishly, if you put your head down because you made a mistake and you stop playing for one another, that's the only way this team can beat you. Don't let up on the gas pedal one time tonight, and we'll play another week. Do me a favor. Do not think that this is guaranteed, and play with a fear that it's going to be taken from you. Let them know how the Braves play. Conditions were wet and windy, which would make it difficult for the offenses. The Braves defense had made it difficult for opposing offenses all year and started the game out, forcing a three and out. The offense would take over, but after being stopped on third and three, were forced to punt. The Braves special teams provided another boost as a fake punt to defense alignment Tyler Miller set Burbuff up with a new set of downs. They would capitalize three plays later with a 26-yard touchdown pass from Derek Azobu to Gabe Wright, making the score seven to nothing. After forcing another punt, a misfortunate bounce of the ball would set the Knights up in Braves territory, but the defense would hold after Simon Banks' interception. Both offenses would struggle mightily, unable to move the ball in the conditions. The Braves' Brandon Wirtz stripped the quarterback of the ball and recovered by James Crute, which set up a 29-yard field goal by Alex Potts. The defenses continued to plague the opposing offenses until midway through the second quarter when lightning would strike, literally. After a two-hour delay, play would resume and would look much like it did in the first half. Marion would put together a drive that would get into Braves territory, but the Knights would run out of time and the Braves would lead at half, 10 to nothing. The half would open with a near touchdown return from Miles McElwain, but after stepping out of bounds, the Brebuff offense would be forced to punt. After trading punts multiple possessions, the Brebuff defense made another interception, this time by Crute, to get the Braves up to the Knight 20. A sack of Azobu would put the Braves on the edge of Alex Pod's field goal range, and his 40-yard attempt would fall just short. Marion would drive to the Brave 29, but after a 10-yard loss, were forced to try their own 46-yard field goal that would also fall short. The offense would take over, and behind the hard running of Charlie Dapp, would get to the Marion 16. when Derek Azobu would hit right for another touchdown pass to seal the game. The Knights would not go away without a fight and would drive to the Brave 19. When James Crute would once again make an interception, one which would seal the victory for the Braves. Playing in the state title game is something special that few players get to experience. It feels good to be back in uh, Lucas. Uh, I, I really hope we come out ready to play. Last time I think we uh, took a while to get started, but this group's feisty. They're intense. They're fun to watch. This is, this is what it's all about. This is what we play for. We play for state. It feels good to be here playing state championship with these guys, man. We came a long way. Uh, you know, we had a slow start to the beginning of the season, but all the hard work eventually paid off, and now I'm just excited to be here. Being here as a freshman is just crazy because when I first came here, I never thought I'd go this far, especially as a freshman. Or I, if we did, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to play, but we're here. So now I got to perform. So it's, I know everybody counting on me. And it feels great. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to play here, watching Coles play here, watching all other schools play here. So it's fun to be a part of this. State, it's been what we've been working for this whole year, and uh, it's always been our goal, and it's just great to know that you accomplished the one main goal that you're always searching for. And the feeling that we're just here is just so relieving because all of our hard work is just put into this. To play State, 
it's just an honor. I've always wanted to play in the state championship. You know, it's always what I dreamed for. I've worked so hard. You know, it's just a great way to give back to the team and everybody who like supported us throughout the whole time, all these four years. You know, it's all led up to this moment. Playing in state, it's like a dream come true. I've always uh, dreamed about playing in state since I was in uh, since I was playing in CYO. Um, it's a great honor to play in state. Playing this Friday at State means a lot. It means the world. Um, didn't think I'd be able to play the rest of the season, but we went far enough, so now I can. So I'm just grateful for every snap that I get. A great feeling to be here. Uh, we set out a goal in the summer. We took a picture right out there in front of Lucas Oil, and uh, it was our goal all along to get here. But now that we're here, we want to win. We don't. We're not just satisfied being here. Um, we had that idea painted through our minds this whole year, and uh, it's great to be here. But we're not done yet. The Braves' title game opponent is the Tigers of Evansville Memorial. Memorial is as talented as anybody we've faced this year. They have a quarterback that can really throw the ball, spreads it around to many different receivers, really throws the deep ball well. They're also very balanced, running the ball for over... 1,500 yards while having a quarterback that's thrown for over 2,000 yards. So they're going to put pressure on the defense. For them defensively, they're not unlike our defense. Give you multiple looks, run really well, fly to the football, force turnovers, and then convert those turnovers into touchdowns. But this one has all the makings of a really Really good, fun, and exciting game. Please play their final contest of the 2017 season this Friday at 3.30 with an opportunity to win the program's first state championship.